Yo, what is going on everybody? It's Juan Solo here with A-Squad Gaming and welcome back to the channel. Thank you all so much for tuning in today for episode 2 of our Ghost Recon Future Soldier playthrough. And this is going to be a very short commentary at the start of the video, but we are going to be going into Africa in the Subtol Arrow mission. This is the second mission of the game and I'm not 100% sure how many missions are in this game, including the Raven Strike DLC, but we are going to be playing through a full playthrough of Ghost Recon Future Soldier. So I hope you guys enjoy episode 2 and if you guys go on to enjoy the video a like rating would be super appreciated. Also for those of you that may be new to the channel make sure to subscribe and turn on those post notifications so you do not miss any of my future uploads. I will still be covering Ghost Recon Breakpoint if there is any new information about a future update and the AI teammates. But for now we're going to be jumping into the second mission in Ghost Recon Future Soldier. I hope you all enjoy. It's a big rig it's all I'm saying. She got that 6.7 liter V8 so I mean I... I figure she's the better deal. Birdie. Live on a base, not a ranch. That should work. You don't need that 6 7. Just saying, man, she's the better deal. Try it now. How's that? Huh? We need to get spun up ASAP. How long does the team need? Prep? <laughs> About 30 seconds. Thirty, douse that. Pepper, Cosa. So they actually got those working. Not bad. Hey, well the tech works great till you try to move too fast in it. <clears throat> What's the op? Warlord, hiding in a refugee camp. Sounds like he's got the same supplies our friends in South America. Intel's on the MRT. The man you brought in, Paez, coughed up about a hundred names. Most of them are small to mid-time players in South America, but we did dig out one unusual connection. Gentlemen, we're heading to Africa. Paez's gear was only part of a larger shipment. Another part went into Zambia, to a man named Dedi Makaba. Makaba's an Angolan warlord and war criminal. He fled Angola and crossed the border into Zambia, where he set up shop right in the middle of a refugee camp. He's got a fresh shipment en route. Makaba's just a means to an end. Your priority is intel on the source of that shipment. Our window's tight on this, so it's gonna have to be a daylight raid. A local contact will get you into the camp. Find Makaba, find his shipment, and find his source. We don't have the processor power yet to let the adaptive combo function while you're moving fast. But when you're holding position or taking it slow, it's the next best thing to being invisible. Magnetic view makes any metal in the vicinity pop out in your field of view. That includes mines, guns being held by hostiles in cover, hidden caches, you name it. The terrain you're going into is almost desert. Long sight lines, not much cover. Take an assault rifle with a tax scope attachment. It'll give you... All right. So our first mission that we actually get to use the optical camouflage. It actually works. It definitely didn't work in Ghost Recon Wildlands once we unlocked it. What happened to that dude's jaw? No, no shorties. <laughs> hey, hey, shit, 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 tenha calma. Tenha calma. Ah. Malandra. Say the word, Captain. Quietly. Not 
Roger, this is Overlord. What's your status? Overlord, Hunter's in position. Ready to move on your go. Copy that. Primary objective is to locate and secure Makaba's latest weapon shipment. And Makaba? Secondary. His suppliers are our main interest. Got me. Hunter out. Add one hostile. Yeah, there wasn't a lot of Get different, like, round. takedowns. It was Ready. pretty much just hand-to-hand -hand or your rifle, but... Marking number four. There's another one. Where is he? Over by that wreck. Three more. Twelve o'clock. That's a kill. Dude. We need to get eyes on that the camp. See the sink shots with. in this game just feel so satisfying because it kind of slows down during the process. Camo going up. Down, down. Do not engage. They tear us up out here. Kill. Keep your heads down. Prone and crawl. No way we find Macaba and all that without help. We wait for a view from upstairs, we might lose him. 30, we go into that mess blind, we lose him for sure. Overlord Hunter, we need a SAT scan of that refugee camp. Overlord copies. Stand by, we'll push it to you. It's a powder keg down there, gentlemen. Humanitarian crisis doesn't even begin to cover it. Macaba's thugs control everything. Food, water, medical supplies. And what they can't control through possession, they control by fear. There we go, that's our man. Once you're inside, track him down and he should lead you to the shipment. Macaba controls everything, one way or another. Everything begins and ends with Macaba. He's your top priority in there. Roger, Overlord. What's the ETA on our ride? Your contact's already on site. He'll have to keep a low profile. Just try not to draw any attention to him. He's putting a lot on the line to get us in. Copy that. Hunter's moving to rally. Sir? Yeah, I see him. We're gonna have to take him out. Yeah, we'll have to do it clean. Line him up, hold fire until we're all on target. Ready, on your shot. On you. On your word. On your shot. Standing by. On your shot. Ready to fire. Target four. On your shot. Also neutralized. That's it. It's clear. Yeah, what this game actually doesn't have for like open world, because obviously it's a very linear game. It's not an open world game. But it definitely Let's makes go. up for that with like the tactical gameplay. Because I, I do feel as if you actually feel like a ghost in this game with the communication, the tactics, and stuff like that. It's not just free reigns like it is in Wildlands. Stay low. Keep quiet. Do not attract any attention. Listen up, ghosts. I want to make sure we're clear on rules of engagement in here. 
Once we hit the camp, we're clear to engage hostiles as long as we don't raise any alarms. Get in close, make your first shot count. If you've got multiple targets, mark them and drop them at the same time. Camo should be enough to let us slip in unnoticed. We need to keep it that way. If Makala spooks, we're gonna lose our chance. We all need to be on point, understood? Got it. No sweat, Cap. Roger that. It is pretty cool seeing Not Kozak in here. Up. Looks like you've got a storm blowing your way. Don't dawdle. For those of you that played the Little we Brother mission in Ghost Recon Wildlands, this obviously is five years later because in, in Wildlands was just like one of his first and up-and-coming missions. And Scott Mitchell thought so much of him, and then you see him in action here as, as the character that you're playing as. Looks a little small. Got a crunch here. Standing on the roof. Target down. Moving position. Two targets marked. Ready. Holding for your shot. Holding for your shot. On your word.
This dude walks extremely slow. Company's coming this way. Everyone off the road get to cover. Like one of my my moves that I use in Wildlands all the time. All clear. Let's go. How much longer? Uh, no, it doesn't matter. The money has been transferred. I can untransfer it if I don't get what I want. Yes, yes, of course. I already told you that. Don't be stupid. My men are already waiting to unload the ship. Just land the plane and we'll take care of the rest. Overlord, sounds like the weapons are still inbound. Why do you want to know so much about my business, huh? There's an airstrip nearby. We'll see if we can get some coverage. What's the call on the cop? Well, maybe I should find another Take care fight. of them now so we don't have to come back later. And don't Roger try that, Overlord. night. Kozak is a protege, man. Protege. I don't think so. Add one hostile. To our left. Target down. I just like the animation. You gotta get spotted. Oh boy. I like the animation um, when he like lays him down quietly after you take him down. That's a nice touch. Take a knee, gentlemen. Check your gear. I'm looking at satellite coverage of the airstrip. It looks like Makaba's shipments arrived and they're already offloading supplies. Sir, if we can get to the plane, we can pull its flight plan. See where it's been, and maybe where it's headed. Good call, Kozak. Overlord Hunter's changing targets. We're gonna try to recover the data recorder off the plane itself. Understood, Hunter. I copy. You'll have to get moving. That storm's closing in. My bet is the crew's gonna try to get airborne before it hits. Copy that. And no disrespect, Captain, but this doesn't seem like the kind of thing we want to hurry. Come on, Pep. Live a little. I'd like to live a lot, 30. That's why I don't want to rush it. I don't like it any more than you do, Pepper. But we're not setting our own timetable. Understood. Here we go. Aggressive, gentlemen. Not reckless. Let's go, Ghost. Yeah, see, just like the communication between the Ghosts is so much different than the communication between the Ghosts and Wildlands. This is so much more, like, down to the point, what tactics and stuff. Yeah, this is this is such a badass squad that two targets marked. I really wish they would bring these guys back for another game. One has got an assault rifle standing by. Two confirmed. They're looking your way, watch it. Visual on two more. Ahead of us. Second target. On you. There's another hostile. 
check nine o'clock. Ready. Open fire. Camo active. Keep pushing. That plane's not gonna wait around for long. Watch it. You're about to get spotted. Dropped him. The other plane's starting to roll. Cap, what's the call? Bring it down. Focus fire.
Hunter, be advised. Hostiles have moved in on the crash site. Watch your step. Copy. We'll take care of it. Enemy isn't here in force yet. It's gonna be a lot harder to secure the site once they are. Take them! Hostile down. You're gonna get spotted. Camo activated. That's two more hostiles. Over by the plane. They got the man down. They're on alert. Back us up, they're here to extract us. Overlord, site secure. Well done, team. QRF will take over and secure the aircraft's black box. Let's get you back out of there. Yeah, roger that. <laughs> 